Firstly, it's worth considering how an armed and trained citizenry might contribute to national defense readiness. In times of emergency or external threats, a population capable of defending itself could provide a valuable line of defense, supplementing professional military and law enforcement efforts. Next, we turn to the topic of crime deterrence. Some suggest that widespread firearm ownership and training could act as a deterrent against criminal activities, potentially promoting public safety. Imagine a burglar thinking twice before breaking into a home, knowing the occupants might be armed and trained. Thirdly, an armed population could possibly respond more quickly to emergencies before official help arrives. This could be particularly useful in natural disasters or local incidents, where immediate response might be crucial. On a personal level, providing citizens with firearms and training might empower individuals to take an active role in their own safety and the safety of their communities. This empowerment could foster a sense of confidence and security, enhancing quality of life. Moreover, an armed citizenry might reduce the burden on law enforcement, freeing officers to focus on more complex and high-priority situations. This could potentially lead to more efficient use of law enforcement resources and improved public safety. The preservation of individual liberties is another aspect to consider. Arming citizens reinforces the principles of individual liberties and the ability to defend oneself against potential abuses of power. This aligns with the concept of personal freedom, a cornerstone of democratic societies. From a historical perspective, the Founding Fathers of the United States emphasized the importance of an armed citizenry as a safeguard against tyranny. This perspective continues to influence contemporary discussions on the topic Firearm ownership also has cultural significance, aligning with a long-standing tradition in American history. This tradition, some argue, reinforces a sense of national identity and shared values. However, with rights come responsibilities. Those in favor of an armed citizenry often stress the importance of accompanying the issuance of firearms with mandatory training programs. This ensures responsible gun ownership and usage mitigating potential risks associated with widespread firearm access. Lastly, communal training sessions and a shared responsibility for defense could enhance community bonding and preparedness. This shared experience could foster a sense of unity and mutual trust among community members. In conclusion, the concept of an armed citizenry encompasses a range of potential benefits from national defense readiness and crime deterrence to personal empowerment and the preservation of individual liberties. It also underscores the importance of responsible gun ownership through mandatory training programs and the potential for enhanced community bonding. As with any complex issue, these points invite further discussion and thoughtful consideration.